Around 10 p.m. on Sunday night, three state troopers and a trooper recruit were responding to a family dispute in Hollis when suddenly a car traveling eastbound on Route 202 veered into the breakdown lane, striking all four troopers. This is an unfortunate incident. Uh, which has a criminal investigation attached to it. State troopers Jake Mowry, David Lemieux, Dakota Stewart, and trooper recruit Shane St. Pierre were standing at the end of a driveway on Hollis Road along Route 202 conducting interviews when the car suddenly entered the scene. Officials have identified 24-year-old Tyler Croston of Westbrook as the driver. He was traveling eastbound with a female passenger. All four of those troopers were struck by, the, by that vehicle operated by Mr. Croston. All four were transported to Maine Medical Center in Portland for a variety of injuries. His injuries were consistent of you know broken bones to a variety of extremities. All four of the troopers were, were incapacitated. They were conscious and alert but uh, in significant distress at the scene. Officials say it is unclear how fast Croston was driving but police say there are no indications that he attempted to apply the vehicle's brakes. Crossan is facing several charges at this time, and officials suspect narcotics to have been a factor in the incident. And we consulted with the York County District Attorney's Office uh, several times uh, throughout the night. Uh, He was charged with aggravated OUI due to the injuries to the troopers, uh, reckless conduct uh, with a dangerous weapon being the vehicle, uh, in violation of conditional release. He was on violation uh, bail conditions from a previous uh, arrest. According to officials, none of the residents at the scene were injured. Two troopers still remain at Maine Medical Center but are in stable condition. The incident is still an ongoing criminal investigation being conducted by the York County Sheriff's Office. In Augusta, I'm Grace Blanchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.